took place March 21st, 2004 in Temecula, California. Let's go ringside for the call. Hey. Campbell in the purple trunks, beaten in black. This should be an action fight. No, there's no way for it not to be. Yeah, seeking Detroit from Robbie Keaton, and Nate Campbell will meet him there. Very confident, Nate Campbell. He says, I am a fighter. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to. You can see on the back of his uh, neck there, on his shoulders, the word the fighter hand, tattoo. Right clean, right clean. That's how he wants to fight tonight. You have an announcer tattooed in the back of your picture. <laughs> See the Galaxy Warrior on the trunks of Nate Campbell, and that is a gym, the Galaxy Gym, where he used to fight. It's no longer around, but he said, I'm going to uh, perpetuate the myth of the Galaxy Gym. I call myself the Galaxy Warrior, spelled with two X's. He's trying to put on the eyes of Robbie Peden. Robbie Peden, though, I saw him in his last fight. He was getting more extension on his punches. You know, so many fighters move in so close that they're not able to throw combinations. Not Robbie. He's getting his punches out in front of him. But it was Campbell that just threw that combination. Left to the head and right to the body. Peden is a better combination puncher than Campbell. He'll throw five and six punches at a time straight down the middle. But Campbell's hits with significantly better power in both hands. Punches the hook to punches. the body and the right hand to the head. Campbell, when we talked to him this morning, wasn't sure how Peden was going to fight him. He said, I'll just wait and see. So far, Peden wants to press Ooh. the fight. Good right hand. Huge right hand. Look at the left hand of Robbie Peden down by his waist. Step back. Break clean. Break clean. Step back. This is a fight with something real at stake. Oh, yeah. Both guys, a, a win here for either guy, propelled them to a fight with the elite. Yeah, these are two guys really, you're absolutely right, right on the cusp. Certainly indicative of this first round, too. Both of them are extremely cautious this first round because they know so much writing on this fight. Neither one of them wants to have their back on the ropes. You can see Pete oh, try to get oh, out of there. Oh, stop, Even stop, a bit stop, more stop, defensive stop. than I anticipated he'd be in the first round. <laughs> well, he has missed a few hit punches in his first round. Robbie has. He's kind of uh, trying to settle down. He's just so fired up. He was angry. He said he was angry about this fight. And Nate Campbell had said some things about him. He heard some things through the gate. Great fine. Don't lose your temper. You lose your temper, get angry, you get sleepy with a guy like Nate Campbell. That's absolutely really right. Yep. Lose your temper, you lose the fight. Time. And a long look from the two of them, which is all just gamesmanship. What about the scouting report? First of all, back for Nate Campbell. Nate Campbell started late, but says he's been in boxing his entire life. He attained a real, uh, at least national status as an amateur in a relatively short period of time. He's obviously athletic. He can move. He can punch. But he doesn't put his punches together particularly well. He can throw two and three at a time, tends not to string a real long combination together. Claims that so many guys are avoiding his left hook to the body, he moves him right into that big right hand. He says all the scars he has, he got from fighting on the streets. How about Robbie Peden? Peden really does put his punches together well, actually. He's aggressive, although and not as aggressive in that round as we're used to seeing him, but attacks in that kind of Australian Jeff Fennick style. Very good stamina, always in top condition. Hasn't fought in a while, though nowadays, uh, no fights in seven months uh, isn't that rare. As he said earlier, the one thing that he has to think about, he has been cut on occasion. See the focus Peden has right now. His greatest flaw as a pro so far, I would say, has been a, 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 a lapse in concentration, usually in the middle rounds. You see how focused and dedicated and energetic he is here. Not always the case in the fifth and sixth round will tend to get okay, a little okay, bit sloppy. No resin, no resin. Out of, out of. Listening to the voice of Max Kellerman, who is uh, with us for the first time. The champ, Sean O'Grady. I'm Barry Tompkins.
Heaton giving ground here in this second round. Moving back, he's trying to shake out. He's still tight. You know, he was so excited about this. There's a big left hook from him. And while he's moving forward, never was a big fan of carrying the hands down like he does, like Robbie does. There's why. Yeah, exactly. It took a long left hand from Campbell. And here's what we anticipate going into this fight in microcosm. Heaton throwing his hands, carrying the round, landing the combination. Campbell not busy enough, but when oh, forced, that landing that the much harder that shot. That microcosm? I, I thought we were in Pachanga. It's right near microcosm. Oh, okay. Not far. Oh, let him go, let him go, step back. <laughs> let him go. That's a good idea. Every fight we've seen Robbie Peden in has been virtually a replay of, of the other. Yeah, he picks it up where he leaves it off. And, uh, he leaves it, he makes a statement. Sharp right hand. You know, he is giving more ground than I've ever seen him give. Still got, still early in this fight. Remember, championship fights usually began about the third and fourth round. These old veteran pros like these two are take a few rounds to shake out the cobwebs. See what your opponent's going to do. Set up your battle plan. Robbie Peden has been working against much bigger guys. He was okay, working stop. against guys up to 160 pounds, a guy named Sam Solomon. Counter right Sorry. hand, good one. Sorry. You know, the danger of working with bigger opponents in the gym is that you slow down in the ring, but you saw a lot of speed there from Robbie. And from Campbell, look at that combination from him. Campbell is still not closing the gap. I'd like to see him move in a little bit closer to throw those punches. Throw the upper half of his body with every shot. These guys seem really evenly matched to me, Max. Uh, this seems like the sort of fight that it's just going to be a question of who's right on this night. I expect it to get more explosive as this fight moves on. Every fight's that way. Coming down to the end of round number two. It's the same fighter in every single fight, and I think you saw it in that glimpse of a fight against Lamont Pearson, a fight that he incidentally won. He won, though, not that dissimilar to this fight, Pearson had real success boxing. That fight was about even at the time that Pearson was uh, quit because of a, a, an injured hand. That fight back in August of 2003 right here in uh, Tonga. And here he is at Petranga all over again. Fighting Nate Campbell, a guy who uh, brings a lot to this dance. Pearson, incidentally, does not have fight-changing power, and yet I felt, uh, Eden felt Pearson's power once or twice in that fight. Now, Campbell, on the other hand, does. He does, he does. He was, he was an even match for Casamayor. He does, and... and Casamayor's a top guy. And oh. Nate, Nate Campbell is not going to go in that shell like Pearson did. He won't sit there with hands up around his face and allow his opponent to hit him. He'll fight back. Now, you know, it's interesting. We have a chance to talk to the fighters. Uh, the morning of the fight was a good shot to the body. And another one. Good idea. And has a right to the head. Slow down your opponent. Come on, says Robbie. It's better to say, we talked to the fighters in the morning of the fight, and you really get a good sense as to how confident a fighter really is. And I don't know how you guys feel, but I came away from those meetings this morning thinking both these guys really believe they're going to win. It's so great because when you talk to one fighter, you're like, wow, that's great. He's fantastic. Then all of a sudden, you talk to the other fighter. They don't realize their opponents are thinking the same thing. Well, especially these two guys who have had a lot of experience winning in their career. These are guys who are not used to losing. Well, a lot of times you talk to a guy and the guy says, you know, tell you the truth, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. We've talked to guys who are fighting left-handers, and we've said, how is it fighting a left-hander? And they said, oh, is he a left-hander? Great shot from Robert yeah. Guys, six left hooks. In, in succession, four, a, a combination at one point of four straight hooks, three to the body and one to the head for Pete. He has the quicker hands. That's how fast he is. That took to the head, that took to the body. Yeah, both guys taking the other's best in this round. I gotta say, this might be, considering the opponent, the sharpest I've seen Pete. It is no fear boxing. Oh, good upper oh, cut that. Campbell. It's a heck of a round of boxes here. Starting to heat up. Break this. Break clean. Break clean. Take your hands. Come on. Come on. Stop the coffee. Come on. Starting to heat up by the sixth round. We'll be talking about. Is that the best round of the year? You, you might be right. Here's 
Peden again, being held with one hand and hitting him with the left hand. Now Campbell with the right hand. Showing an impressive defense, Peden. He can keep his hands up against a guy like this. What a round of boxing. Just tremendous. Mano a mano. Barry, that's what you were talking about. Both guys. A back and forth battle. Crowd loves it. The ebb and flow. It's still early in this match. Every time Pete opened one, up, Campbell had an answer. And they're going like that. Watch it. Watch your head. Talk about high stakes poker against a guy with this kind of punching power, Davis. Campbell starts off driving Peden into the ring post. The other thing is, Campbell at that throwing one punch at a time, two punches at a time, not really putting his punches together. Peden may feel that he can see the punches coming. Yeah, actually, and that's why I gave that last round to Peden. I just thought he was a little bit busier. No, no, don't grab, don't grab. Stop. You have a 29 28 for Robbie Peden, as do I. We so, agree. I, I, I thought Peden won that last round. Clean. Bring him up, Finders. We expected a rough fight. Come on, back. Come on. Come on. Come back, Robbie. Right hand by Campbell. Right hand of the body by Campbell. That one missed. Robbie needs to go to the body a little bit more early. He's just trying to man him. Let him go. Let him go. Come on, break. Break. break, break, break. Okay. Bobby, Bobby, you got to flex between the gloves, baby. Between the That's it. Again, Peyton hands at his side. Step up. Step up. Watch those shoulders. Watch those shoulders. Let's go to Sean O'Grady right now, who's with Roger Bloodworth. Sean. The other one. And uh, oh, no, don't lean on, don't he lean needs on to be him. throwing more punches, but I think he thinks he's letting Nate punch himself out because Nate doesn't seem to be hurting him, and he's missing him a lot. So I know that Robbie can keep up this kind of attack. Can Nate? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. What are, what are you going to try to get Robbie keep doing at the end of this round? I want him to bring more punches up underneath. You know, Nate's using elbows. I want him to bring more punches up underneath. Under and over, but he just got a warning for... for no, that was long. Nate. That was Nate. Okay. Let's go. Under and over, you mean? Under. When Nate bends over, bring the punches up under, you know? And make him pay on the inside. Well, that is just tough. Tough. This is a real fight, you guys. It is that. And Campbell, I think, perhaps getting a little better of it in this round. Even again, his concentration seems to, seems to, uh, there's ebb and flow there, let's put it that way, in terms of his uh, discipline and his concentration by the middle of the fight. He does not fight with the same focus and energy consistently in each round. Yeah, I think he's getting a little cute in this round. Counter right hand from Campbell came right over the right hand of Pete, and there's a combination from Campbell. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Well, this could be a fight of attrition. Much better round for Campbell. Again, right to the head, right to the body. Campbell was having good success earlier, digging those right uppercuts to the body. He's gotten away from it a little bit. Coming to the end of round number four. Well, it's been a fight that's been dead even, an action fight, been very much as advertised, Max. I have it two rounds to two. I thought uh, Campbell won the first round and the fourth round, and Peden won the two in between. That's the way I got it. Great minds, huh? <laughs> Peden keeps his head in the middle when he loses that focus. He, seems, he reacts to punches and tries to avoid them with upper body movement, but when, this, when he's not doing that, his head's just kind of hanging in the middle. Campbell's starting to load up a little bit, I think. Work your way out. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Clean up over here, huh? Sean O'Grady now is in Nate Campbell's corner with John David Jackson, former champion himself, guy who knows from there whence he can. speaks. Sean, a oh, great fighter himself. John David Jackson knows what it's like in the trenches. This is a oh, 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 maybe turning. Up, Nate Campbell maybe maybe turning the tide in this fight. How long can he keep up this kind of horrid pace? Well, you know, Nate, with Nate's, uh, you know, his heart is so tremendous than he is. We, we've been running. I've been running with him every day, making sure that he's on the road. Uh, he can go like this for 12. It may slow down a little bit, but this, this type of intensity, he can keep it 12 rounds. That's how bad he wants this fight. I know it's a very important fight for him. What is his strategy in this fight? He knew it was going to be a brawl on the inside. Does he want to rip the uppercuts? Does he want to go to the body? Where, where, where is he now? He definitely wants to stay in the body. He knows the body is bread and butter. 
um, in, in the first two rounds, Robbie kind of, uh, oh, this, Robbie kind of, well here. Robbie kind of um, tried to switch up with boxing. Does that Robbie be hurt? He's very much hurt. He's like, and they, Nate, Nate's fighting like you used to show us. That's well, it. Nate is great tonight. How about that? And Max, he had a terrific uppercut right there, and he's really dishing it out right now. Nate Campbell's stop, 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 stop. power, his punching power, especially in the right hand, is starting to impose itself on this fight from Robbie Peter. He has slowed oh, that body shot. shot to the body. What a body shot. Is in if big Campbell trouble. goes back down to the body, this fight will end. What a body. He may have broken a rib. That was a savage right uppercut. That's exactly the punch he was talking to us about. A shot to the liver, he said, was his best punch. He said, you just can't recover from it. And I'm not sure Peyton has yet. He was talking about the left hook. That was the right uppercut. As I said, he gotten away from throwing that punch a little bit. He goes back down there. I don't know if he knows how bad Peyton is hurt right now. I mean, he just straightened Peyton right up with that shot. to the referee was right in his ear counting but what Peden was shot. out on his feet before he threw that left hook. yes he was take another look at this playing games with the hands down okay thank you very much not smart not smart a short left hook to the point of the chin oh it was more like a three a three-quarter uppercut hook one of those 45 degree angle jobs Vicious. It doesn't matter who you are. Just because you're Nate Campbell, or Muhammad Ali for that matter, it doesn't matter who you are. You stand up with your hands down in front of a professional prize fighter at this level, you will get knocked out. Yeah, and it's the old thing of what was he thinking? 